Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby aka Paginator and I'm here today with the Owl Crate Box for the month of September. I don't know how it's already here, I'm just happy about it. Um, yeah, before I start getting to the box, can I just... Can I just vent out some things for a second? Um, I, it's the weekend when I'm filming this, and I should be, like, feeling great, happy, like, just having some time for myself, and I've been having, like, a major anxiety attack today over some stuff, and I just, I don't feel good and just I you know I know this isn't really venting I said I was gonna vent but this is I, I don't feel good I, I I know some of you out there might struggle with anxiety too if you have any tips for ways to help yourself feel better when you're like this please please let me know I've been doing some work with counseling and with different things and it, sometimes you just have a bad day and maybe I just need to accept that sometimes you have a bad day but anyway um, I want to get to this unboxing because I know that that if nothing else is gonna bring a smile to my face today so here we go um, yeah mm. <laughs> why won't you open okay Ooh. What in the world is this? Do we have a blanket? <gasps> this is a Nevermore throw blanket. Ooh. Featuring the full text of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, designed with love by Michelle Gray. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love Edgar Allan Poe so much, and I know the theme of this book is something about haunting, so I was super excited for some spooky items in here, and we are off to a very, very good start. So let's open this up. This is very, very soft, by the way. It's fantastic. So we've got a raven over here, and we've got a feather, and we've got the words once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary over a many quaint and for curious volume of forgotten lore <sighs> I nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping okay I can't sit here and recite the whole poem but oh my gosh oh there's another bird okay let's get this corner for you Oh, so this is a throw size blanket and it's going to be perfect for when I need something to snuggle with. Alright, up next we've got this cute little owl crate box that's got some skulls and bones and things on it. And... What is it? Oh! <gasps> okay. We have... Spoons. Look at this. They're skull spoons. Oh, so pretty. So we've got gold, silver, and black. Oh, that's beautiful. These are one of those kinds of spoons that you just sh display and and I'm gonna turn into an old lady with a spoon collection. I don't have a cat yet, but. You know, I'm I'm getting there. Up next, we've got the enamel pin, and I'm pulling it out of the plastic for you guys to see. Ooh, okay, so we've got a hand holding a black rose. Very interesting. Some kind of mystery envelope that's making shaking sounds. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> 
this is awesome. Okay, so what we have is an enamel bookmark, and there are two pieces connected by a rose gold, gold chain. So we've got this little skeleton with an open book, and then this says, Death Before DNF. <laughs> Oh, that is so me. I I have a very hard time DNFing books. I've got a book that I kind of got stopped and I'm letting myself read other books, but I don't want to officially say that I DNF'd it because I feel like a failure. Oh, but no, it's okay. It's okay. But still, <laughs> this bookmark is awesome. Ooh. <gasps> Essence of vanilla and bourbon. Who lit the black flame candle? Oh, Hocus Pocus. I love that movie so much, and I'm sure it's going to be coming on TV soon because we're getting closer and closer to Halloween. I could watch it any day of the year, though, to be frank. It's a nice smell. I don't love the smell of, of bourbon. Um... I've never actually drank bourbon. I don't drink alcohol, but um, when I was in Kentucky for the Jane Austen conference a couple of years ago, there was lots of bourbon things because it was Kentucky and they're known for that. And I learned that I didn't love the smell of bourbon, but I do love the vanilla and I just love that it's the black flame candle and <sighs> yeah. Okay, we've got pumpkin spice flavored lip balm that says Sleepy Hollow on it. So I have loved the story of Sleepy Hollow since forever. I, I've i read the story a billion times. I've done reader's theater versions with my students. And when the Johnny Depp movie came out, I was super, super excited. But then I was really mad because it was rated R and I was like not supposed to watch rated R movies. It's a religious thing, but I was bad and watched it anyway because it was Johnny Depp and it was Sleepy Hollow and oh well. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have to make our own rules. Oh, my phone's ringing in the other room. I'm going to call them back. Okay, here we have the I'll Create Spoiler card. For some reason it wasn't in the top this month, um, but... We'll just kind of take a look at the artwork there and set it aside. Um, I don't know what the book is, and I don't want to accidentally spoil myself before I see it. Okay, I'm I'm feeling the book. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. What is it going to be? Oh! <gasps> what in the world is this? Horrid by Katrina Leno. Let's get this sucker out of the plastic. So we have this card and it has the poem about the girl with the curl. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. And when she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. Ooh, interesting. All right, here is a letter from the author. Dear Owl Craters, have you ever seen a flower so beautiful you wanted to taste it? Read a book so perfect you wanted to rip a page out and eat it? Love something so much you wanted to consume it to let it live inside you forever? This is a story about those obsessions and about spooky autumn nights and about old family secrets. This is a story about a girl with a little curl of hair right in the middle of her forehead. This is a story about what it means to be consumed with love, with beauty, with fear. Maybe read it with the lights on. All right, so I'm taking a look at the cover again. This is just creepy with the the red flowers over her eyes. Ah, I'm so I suppose it's meant to be creepy though. Um, let's take a look inside the dust jacket. We've got art. Looks like a creepy old house, and there's a light on in the window and a figure in there. And is it a ghost? Ah, I don't know. Allow me a moment to read the um, description and I'll let you know more about this in a second. Alright, I'm just going to have to read this to you because I can't restate this better in my present state of mind. 
Following her father's death, Jane North Robinson and her mom Ruth Allen moved from sunny California to the dreary, dilapidated old house in Maine where Ruth grew up. All they want is a fresh start, but behind North Manor's doors lurks a history that leaves them feeling more alone and more tortured. As the cold New England autumn arrives and Jane settles into her new home, she finds solace in old books and memories of her dad. She steadily begins making friends, but Jane also faces bullying from the resident Bad Seed and struggles to tamp down her own worst na nature in response. Ruth seems to be spiraling with the return to her childhood home, but she won't reveal why. Then Jane discovers that the storage room Ruth has kept locked in isn't for storage at all. Ruth has kept... Okay. Then Jane discovers that the storage room Ruth has kept locked isn't for storage at all. It's a little girl's bedroom left untouched for years and not quite as empty of inhabitants as it appears. Holy crap! Sorry for the little stumble over words there. I Thoughts? Like, I, when you have anxiety plus OCD like I do, the intrusive thoughts come in and then trigger... And it, I had a physical anxiety spike in that moment, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I should be just put down. I, at this point, I kind of feel like just going to check in my, myself to the state hospital and sleeping for a good year or so. I don't want anyone to, out there to be worried about me, though. I'll be fine. I'm just probably definitely overstating my stress right now. All right. Um, so we have the theme for the next month, which is Legends and Lore, and it says every October box will include a unique and useful item created by a fabric designer, Janine Lacour. She's a fabric designer. Does that mean it's going to be a book sleeve? I guess we'll find out. Maybe a tapestry? Who knows? Okay. We'll take a quick peek in the Alcrate newsletter to compare book covers. All right, so here is our Alcrate version, and the regular one has got black roses on it. That might be even creepier. I yikes. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm really glad that this is the book that came because it's definitely going to feed my need for creepy reads for the fall, and um, I highly doubt it's going to be the box in Fairy Loot because I think their theme was something to do with the ocean and ships or something. Anyway, um, yes, I quite like this book. What's my favorite thing? I'm going to have to call a tie between this amazing blanket that's been sitting on my lap since I unrolled it and the Dead Before DNF bookmark because that made me laugh and, oh, yeah, I needed what, that laugh. So <sighs> thank you all for watching. Again, don't worry about me. I'll be fine, but if you do have any tips for how you handle stress that would be amazing so have a wonderful and bookish day happy reading adios